What is going on, my lamb doggians? Um, I'm totally going to get kicked out of the club for this, but this is a video I need to make in order to help the, uh, the audience understand some videos that I'll be making shortly, and I need you to have some, uh, some fundamental understanding of, of what we're going to be talking about, because it's important for, uh, for this thing coming up, and it's going to be worth it, so bear with me. And it's going to be basic, but please bear with me. Um, percent. I need you to know the definition of percent. And uh, it is by a specified amount in or for every hundred. Or one part in every hundred. So for every percentage, that's how many you get back for every hundred that you spend. Me, myself, I was introduced to percentages because of the uh, state sales tax, which has been like 6%. So you spend a dollar, you have to pay six additional cents for every dollar that you spend as a percentage. Now this, uh, from the standpoint of trading, your profits are calculated in a percentage of your equity or your account amount. And specifically, so for every hundred dollars, it will be how much you make off of every hundred dollars that you have in action. Now on a daily basis, let's say you've heard of a percentage on a yearly basis, like a APR I believe it's called, that's all well and good, but you trade in a, in, in some cases you trade in a much shorter shorter amount of time. In which case, it's referred to as BIPs or basis points. And you'll see, um, you'll see savvy, savvy traders on here talk about basis points. And sometimes your returns are better calculated in basis points because you may not get a full percentage of change. So like 1% equals 100 basis points or 0.01%. Um, and there's nothing wrong with that. You know, you can crunch the numbers and figure out exactly how much of a percentage of return you have, and it allows you to apply a trading strategy or a risk management strategy regardless of your actual account size. So instead of, instead of trying to explain how you risk three US dollars to a person who's in the position to risk a heck of a lot more than that, if you give it to them in basis points or in percentage, then they can apply that to whatever market they're working with or whatever dollar amount they're working with. And it goes with silver, futures, whatever. So again, percentage is how many for every 100 and a BIP is how many of a hundredth of a hundredth that we're talking about. Now, I just want to get this fundamental in and I will review it real quick when it comes up in these later videos that, um, that we're working on. And I appreciate your time and I am sorry if this is something that uh, everybody knows, but you know, you never know till you ask and you never know till you tell. I don't mind it. I have to think about it a lot. I'm always calculating bips. I'm always bragging on my bips. And then I'm always trying to hide my bips when they're not the direction I want them to be. <laughs> because I got a loose fitting suit, baby. It don't fit. Borrowed it from my daddy. Okay. Y'all take care. We'll see you soon.